All right, should we talk about King Von? Yeah. yeah. Did you guys all see it? Yes, we watched yeah. it. That's crazy that we all managed to see it. You saw the whole thing? I watched the first night. Yeah. You saw it too? You you actually paid for it on Patreon? I did, yeah. <laughs> we got Brick <laughs> Baby paying the five bucks. I paid the five high dollars. five. Wow. I paid the high five to so, see some shit that I already fucking seen a million yeah. times. I feel like they, they, it was like dope how you put it together, but yeah. I mean, it, not dope. Well, it was more put together than all the other. Yeah, I seen it because that is kind of the thing about it is when I was watching like, or I'm looking through Chapel Ross's other videos and it's like, he's kind of covered this ground before, but this time, like the main thing, if you want to think of it as a theme, he went through the Twitter and, and yeah, took the Twitter all the shit. tweets in that order. That was crazy. Yeah. That was wild. That, that was took wild. a lot of That's digging. what I was saying. The Twitter yeah. shit, it was like more put together. It's like, oh, oh. And he really used the Twitter to paint this picture of Vaughn as being like the craziest motherfucker ever, which at a certain point, I'm just like, watch. Like, it, it's really hard to watch it and not leave convinced. You know what really got that me was the cereal was thing. Yeah. yeah. I was just the, yeah. Cereal, the cereal, dude. The cereal was cold. I'm That's like. like I'm like extreme this level thinking right there. This though. little dude is crazy. He right? was trolling the fuck out of the audience, and some of the fans got it, but he wasn't like overt enough to make yeah. it like really in your face. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the fuck he was. The that cereal shit, was shit in your face. Oh, what it went over people's heads. He just kept it saying it over the years, and like when he starts talking about Doug in the the, the interview with academics, and yeah. he just starts eating cereal and just staring straight ahead. It's like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like he was a really crazy yeah. fucking dude. Yeah, but what's be, real see, crazy though? Wanna know why? Yeah. Because if he was white, people be like, oh yeah, yeah, he was killer. a fucking serial killer. Like he was just black. He still had that mentality. He was fucked up in the head. Typically, we don't think of like Listen, gang killings as like serial person, killings. I don't know. Like, 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 like to the extent I'm just now getting around to the clip of the night in Atlanta shit. Yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like any dude whose career is on fire, like it was, and you just pop out and. Like, and rob go. a random guy because he had a bunch of money on him. <laughs> That's so crazy. I'm yeah. like, damn. He like, but I know a dude like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that and fuck off all this shit. Why? Right? Once Whoa. I lose my cool, like I, I'm not gonna talk too much on camera, but it's like this is my this is what's blackballed me from the industry. Mm. This type of like, and I ain't talking about the serial killer part, yeah. but I'm right. like, damn, fuck. That looked crazy, but like. I wish I could see a camera of myself and tell myself that I look crazy. Like, mm. the shit that I was, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, the story that we discussed on your interview and everything about mm. the clothing store, we we talked about it, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, but that. Oh, that was another thing. Thank God that was something I went to jail for. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, thank God. That's <laughs> How long were you in jail. that time, though? I was in jail for three and a half years fighting that shit. But I yeah, also, so I also yeah. had. Motherfuckers trying to bring me into like crime ring, like the same shit that mm. Thug is going through. Like right. that's why I was there. They didn't want to let me out. Like I had a two year probation. Like I did two years day for day. Like after a year in the county, you get two years credit. They could have been let me bail out. Right. The only thing they was like probation though. I'm like, well, I admit guilt to my violating probation. They're like, oh, you have to admit on both cases. I'm like, I can't admit on both cases because I'm only guilty for the high speed chase. Uh -huh. The day that y'all caught me, you get what I'm saying? Right. So, but they were, uh, they kept questioning me about like certain murders. They kept saying that this dude got picked up from my house in Porter Ranch and this dude, you know what I'm saying? Like crazy ass shit. So it was just like, you know, right. I was getting picked on like that. That's why I was like, at the end of the day, can't none of that shit stick. Yeah, Cause I didn't have no involvement. Just like, just, just cause you know a motherfucker that, goes out the house and kills people like you know what I'm saying it does not mean that you fucking telling them to go kill nigga I don't know I'm not asking it's not my fucking girlfriend I'm not asking you what the fuck you did today uh -huh. but all right put yourself in Dirk's shoes you're at the top of your career you're absolutely fucking killing it and then you embrace somebody like Vaughn and knowing everything that we know about him now, it does seem like a wild decision on Dirk's part. Now, he knew that this guy was a star, and he knew that, like, financially he was going to be fucking huge. Yeah. But, I mean, when you see a lot of the reactions from people from Chicago back in the day and the way that they look at it, where they really, before he blew up, they saw him as a straight-up assassin. Yeah. It yeah. is kind of wild because, you know, Dirk definitely was exposing himself to a bunch of risk by... 
getting by putting himself in that situation. But, you know? but, that too, but though, right? Dirk been yeah. doing that. Dirk yeah. been doing that. You see this before he he, he signed Vine. He mm. was at the bus stop. Yeah, Lil Mark died. Yeah, too. Like you get what Not I'm out, saying. Like, but Dirk Mark? been doing that. Like you get what I'm saying. Like that's what he do. Yeah. What are you saying? No, I was just saying it was that Lil Mark. I thought yeah, it was yeah. like. Okay, yeah, bro, you, you got to yo, think. Yo, they're a demon, bro. The smoking Tuka, Chief Keef, and all them, they mm. made that like I thought Tuka was a word for weed for a long That's time. What I thought too. And then, like when I started hanging out with the BDs, I'm like, oh, I, I stopped smoking Tuka. When I go back, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm like, oh yeah, mm. nah. If I were to go back to my original DMs Tuka. with Duck, my original DM to him was basically saying like, yo, like. Lil Pump didn't mean nothing by that because <laughs> Pump had a clip where he was talking about smoking Tuka and oh. Doug was all calling him out and shit. And yeah. I was trying to reach out to him, being like, "Yo, he don't know." What he, he was, you was trying to squash like, beef. Yeah, I was trying to squash <laughs> beef with FBG Duck for Lil Pump. Yeah, oh yeah. hell no, nah, man! Yeah, yeah, what a world. Twenty six. Yeah. I would have said, shit, bro. bro. Yeah, man, come on now. Like you on your yeah, own, man. Yeah, because you just talking like you you can't talk about nobody dead, homies. You crazy, yeah, like yeah. especially if you ain't from the side that whacked him. Like y'all, anybody feel comfortable smoking on anybody yeah. ops, and y'all that have nothing to do with the death. You guys are terribly like something's wrong with you guys. That's the lamest shit you could do in the street. You surprised I didn't catch on in L.A. What? Smoking on people's ops and all that shit. Uh, nah, you don't really smoking, hear about it a lot. Uh, no, nah, they smoking ops. <laughs> a little bit, but they not. Smoke op, but yeah. we don't do that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? We let the dead, the dead rest in peace. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If the business was handled, it was handled. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. A motherfucker not bragging about who we killed last night and all that. Like, they giving out, niggas snitching out here. So it's like, a motherfucker, like, when I was growing up, it's like, okay, boom, they died. So let's you're not supposed even to talk let it go. About, yeah, mm-hmm. no, you don't even let it go. It's just like that was business. Yeah. Obviously, they died for a reason. It ain't niggas just ain't going to go pick on nobody. But it's like when well, you yeah. handling business, business is handled that way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing about it afterwards about the names and all that shit, and keep on taunting the other side. You want them to keep coming over there because we like in Chicago is is like L.A. But they taunting each other. You gotta come back out. Mm. Cause we from a place where you gotta stand on business, or you gonna be looked at as a as the weakest link. So it's like, all right, keep on. I bet you you keep saying somebody's name on Instagram right now. They coming for you. See, y'all keep more vague, like vague or some. They shit know like what that. it is. See? We 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 nigga, we throwing up whatever K. We whoopy whoop K. Whatever K. I ain't for to be on your dishes. Like, but you know what I'm saying like. Mm. That's good See, enough. Saying, Y'all know what it is. Like, That's what's supposed to happen when we come across each other, man. You guys have anything that stood it? out to you about the documentary in general? Yeah. Yeah, right. So first off, it's the origin of thinking that FBG Butter beat up King Von in, on a bus and and like that's why like King Von, you know, like started like bringing a fucking gun to school and started wilding out that. And then while King Von was in jail, his sister Kayla tweeted, "Yo, Vaughn is going to get out and kill more people. I said, bro, that's wild. Now, three is this, though. Um, I don't think that uh, if Traveler Ross gave enough credit to T-Roy because a lot of those bodies were T-Roy bodies. I feel like Vaughn caught three bodies. He caught K.I., of course, uh, and he caught Boss Trail, and he caught, like, Modell, right? Because... Those three were like were like were like were like the three where they say, yo, listen, like, yeah, Vaughn did it, or you know, like they were built like Vaughn, or you feel me, right? So Vaughn was identified as as the as the primary suspect in those three. Now, Lil James was not Vaughn. That was T Roy, right? So, right, so you know, now does Vaughn qualify as a serial killer? Three or more, yes, right? But in terms of the seven bodies, that wasn't Vaughn, right? Uh, four of them was for T. Roy, like for sure, for sure, right? Because T. Roy got like eleven bodies, right? So yeah, right. So you know, like how you know for sure? That's what I, exactly. Uh, how what I you love know for say. sure? I mean, if you've been like he, embroiled, but, but he in his culture since you're he tweeting, yeah. he tweeting. T. Roy got more than me. We in competition. So yeah. Just because both of them in the car don't mean that like they take a turns clicking. Yeah. They take a turns. Of course. Clicking. This is what we. This is what we doing. Nigga. Yeah. All right. That one was you. Next one mine. 